This health crisis is impacting everybody. One group in particular, high school students. Proms and graduations could be canceled. What's supposed to be the time of their lives is being robbed. Unless you're a bagger at a Fremont grocery store who's turning his act of humanity into a time in his life he'll never forget. It's 11 o'clock in the morning on a school day. It's, it's pretty weird. Jackson Durr would normally be in his physical education class. I'm always staying active in sports and school and work. Instead, he's found a new workout in our new normal. Just to help out around the community. Jackson works at Bill's Shop and Save. Asking if they wanted paper or plastic, you know, normal bagging rules. He recently decided to turn his job into something. Paper or plastic, Jackson? Uh, plastic. More. I wrote up a, a little post on Facebook. If people are afraid to go get groceries. About two weeks later, it's over, over 1,100 times it was shared. Jackson is personally delivering seven to 10 orders each day. If I'm not here, uh, they've been giving out my phone number so they can call me at home. One of them was Norma. You can get me a loaf of bread. You can get me a pineapple. All right. Get me some broccoli. I think that will take me through what I need this time. All right, well, perfect. Norma's shopping spree begins. Get everything into a cart. Then into his car. A lot of people in the community have been giving me gas money, gas cards, and also for my teachers at Fremont High School have been really helping me out as well. Hey, Jason. Hi. Then into Norma's hand. Get right. my groceries, I got huh? groceries. I would recommend this to anybody. <laughs> Jackson's one-man grocery delivery service will continue through at least spring break. If the school closure does get extended, I will for sure keep on doing it through summer. Just give him a call. Whenever I have some time, I'll, I'll give a call back. In Fremont, Brent Ashcroft, 13 on your side.